Welcome to episode 2 of Spirituality, Self-Love and the Modern World Hosted by me, Bernadette Bala Hi, 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 hi everyone Hope you are doing well today I'm going to talk about body memories today So you may not know this But your body is able to store memories Of incidents from the past in different areas it turns out that your brain and my brain isn't the only place that holds our memories other parts of our bodies are pretty good at it too but what exactly are body memories well they could be a smell or a touch or like in my case a sound and our bodies can remember both good and bad times. For example, have you ever caught the scent of a cinnamon and then you immediately feel very happy and very safe? Perhaps, mm, perhaps your body remembers the time you were seven and you visited your grandmother who was baking you cinnamon rolls it was a safe and happy time and your body kept that memory so through the sweetness of cinnamon which is the trigger you your body your body kept your, sorry through the sweetness of the cinnamon which is the trigger you can feel you can feel what you feel at that time that's how amazing body memories are they can affect the way you move the way you think the way you feel and even the way you behave they know about your past hurts they know about your current insecurities they know what you're worried about and what you fear they even know you better than your bff ever will what do my hips what my hips told me I have I have tight hips I feel an uncomfortable tension in my pelvic area every day whenever I walk climb the stairs or even curl up in bed I feel aches and soreness in my hips one day while I was mindlessly scrolling through my iPhone I came across a book by Bessel van der Kolk. I hope I am pronouncing that right. Bessel van der Kolk called The Body Keeps the Score. Through that unexpected encounter, I began learning about body wisdom. And I use all of my learnings to boost healing in my mind, in my body, and in my spirit. So the body wisdom theory taught me to understand my body on a deeper level. So as it, turn, as it turned out, the tightness in my hips was, was related to my deep sense of insecurity. Hips are where we store our unprocessed emotions and repress issues that stresses us out. On the surface, it really appeared like I had my life together, but truth to be told, even with a good job and a roof over my head, and I, I'm, I, I think I'm fin financially okay, there were times that I didn't feel alive. I, I didn't feel fulfilled. I didn't know who I was, to be honest. And now that I've started to understand what my body is telling me, I feel like I'm gaining a secret access to happiness. I feel truly secure despite the occasional times of loneliness and other trivial matters, you know, because now other people or 
bad incidents can affect me and they can influence me, but they won't be able to get to my core. You know, I am much more confident now and I know that the only person who can break me is me. Now you, now you, 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 you. If you want to identify where your negative body memories are stored, simply find the areas in your body that are inflexible, tight, or just somewhere that is bothering you. That is a huge step towards healing. And it's a perfect way to start noticing what your body has been trying to tell you. Perhaps you have been feeling a little lost about where you are in life. Perhaps you feel insecure about your relationships and don't know what to do. Breathe deep, relax, and listen to your body. It's trying to tell you something that you need to hear. I've got some examples for you. Here's what your body may be trying to tell you. May be trying to tell you. Number one, if you got headaches or migraines. So everyone gets a headache once in a while. And that's nothing to worry about. But if you are dealing with migraines and headaches that last for days and don't go away, you might want to dig in deeper. Apart from seeing the doctor, you also want to dig in deeper yourself. The forehead is where the intellect is placed. Think well and answer yourself honestly. Are you feeling trapped in your career or discontent about your life choices? You might, you might, you might have lost touch with your inner self and your intuition. You know, take some time to nurture the connection you have with yourself. Have an honest conversation with yourself. Number two is that if you're having tightness in the chest. Now, the tightness in the chest is one of the most common signs your body is sending you. And that is because a lot gets stored in the chest area. And every relationship you've ever had, both with family or friends or lovers, it, le it leaves an impact um, and it's felt on there later on. So any feelings of low self-esteem that haven't been addressed properly or suppressed, may arise in this area in your chest in your chest as well as fear and and anxiety the last one is uh, throat and mouth so your mouth and throat might be the first ones to suffer if you're not letting your real emotions rise up to the surface for example, with me, whenever I am angry and I don't say anything and I repress it, I can almost feel like my throat is vibrating, like exploding. More like vibrating. I'm exaggerating when I say explode. That's the, it's like a, that's like a sensation of suppressed, suppressed anger trying to pass through. You know, you're like, oh, I want to say something. I'm so mad. So your mouth, your mouth reflects the state of your self-care. So I want you to be careful and be aware of the way you talk to yourself. You know, encourage yourself instead of dismissing yourself. All right. So what are you going to do now? Check in. Are you going to check in with yourself regularly during your stretches? You know, is there a strain in your shoulders? No, pay more attention. Maybe your lower back is aching. How about your jaws, your chest? 
And then after you identify where the tension lies, you can start asking deeper questions like, what regrets am I holding on to? Which area of my life, is it work, relationship, or my health that I am worried about? What are my fears and my insecurities? So use your body wisdom to guide you. You will feel so much more rooted and a, a, lot, a lot more less worrying about your life purpose, you know, because you know that your body and your emotions are guiding you. Okay. If you enjoyed this episode, tag me on social media. I am Bernadette Bala on Instagram. Feel free to send me a direct message or write a review for my book or my podcast. Tag me in your stories or whatever it is. I will be glad to hear from you. My book is Intuition is Your Superpower. And it's available on Amazon. The, the Audible version is also out. Okay, until the next episode, take care of yourself, take care of your mind, take care of your body, and take care of your soul. See ya!